Hey everyone, welcome to Atomic Darts. I'm your host, Matthew. On this channel, we take a look at darts, darts related materials, and other items that you, our subscribers, ask us to review. So, all right, real quickly, do that whole like, subscribe, hit those buttons down below and all that, and we'll be good to go into the, the blah, 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 into today's review. Woo! That's a lot to say real quickly. All right, so we're gonna be taking a look at a dartboard today. I'm excited to be looking at this. This is part of the Colonial lineup or the Colonial Dart brand. And you're like, what is a Colonial Dart brand? Who is Colonial Darts? Well, I'm going to explain that to you right now. So Colonial Darts is a dart brand, a dart company, so to speak. It's an offshoot or a part of or a product of a to z darts uh a-z darts to be specific uh you go to a to z darts.com and find the colonial product line let's get into what we're actually looking at today and that is this colonial dart board it is the version two so they had a standard version out that had like the regular uh wire that was on top this has actually got the razor edge wiring system in it uh it's an official tournament size which most of them are i don't know of anybody that makes them that aren't official tournament size um and it's kenyan sisile sizeable um that they're using here so let's open this up and get a good close-up look at how this wire is on here because that's the key thing right it's the wire it's how nicely packed is this uh how's it going to handle maybe different climates um you know, is it going to do well in a dry climate versus a, a, a damp climate or something? But So let's take a look at this, get a close-up look, see what the paint looks like, and we'll hang it, and I'll play on it a little. All right. All right, so we have the board open or out of the box. Uh, typical stuff in the box, you get um, your typical hanging apparatuses for this uh, dart board just to hang it on the wall. I like the puck system, so that's what I install on all of mine. Um, let's toss that there. And then you get some uh, basic instructions on how to play darts. Uh, you put baseball and other games. So that's that. But what we're more concerned about is this right here, right? Is this. So we have a standard ring or standard number ring on the outside. It smells good. I like the coloration here. It is very vibrant red and greens. I really like this. Now, um, I just did the Blade 6, which was nice, but it was more orange and green. It was much more that than this Christmas color right here. This is a beautiful red and green. I really like this. Um, to me, this is what a dartboard should look like, is red and green. Um, the orange and stuff, yeah. Red and green, red and green, red and green. I like this a lot. Looks really good. The wire feels good. It doesn't feel too bad. It's you know, could be a little bit more flush mounted in there. You know, a little more pressure put in there. It does kind of stick out a little, in my opinion. But all in all, for the cost of this board versus some of the other high or end costing boards, this really seems really nice. Um, the sizal um, seems pretty decent. It's not really moving around. It feels really good. It feels like it's tight in there. So I'm going to say really nice stuff. Uh, again, really good looking board. Nothing crazy on the back. Get you guys kind of a close up there. I think all in all, for a wire shot board, this is pretty decent. Um, let's give it a little bit. Of, I'm going to put the puck on the back, hang it on the wall, and give it a little bit of a throw and kind of put it through its paces over the next couple of days. And then I'll give you guys a final wrap up. Be back in a couple of days. All righty then. Okay, been playing with this for a while, you know, throwing hundreds of darts at it. Um, Dylan helped me out a little too. Um, let's see. I don't know if you guys can see any of the damage that's done here. I mean, there's a little bit, but it's so minor. And this is healed really well. You can see some of the spots, especially at the bullseye. You can see some of the you know, typical damage that you would expect from a dartboard. I mean, they're not going to last forever. They're taking they're taking some some hits, literally. 
Um, but this, the healing factor on this has been really amazing. I like the color. And the, I'll say that one thing I like about the bullseye, what I noticed, is it's almost not as tightly packed as the rest of the board. Um, get my finger over there. It, it seems to receive and heal really well because we did kind of pound on this a little, um, this area, and hit the bullseye quite a few times. Um, Dylan actually took his dart and did that whole thing. But it healed really, really well, and it seemed to receive the points well. It didn't bounce out. It wasn't really hard packed. We see that in PDC tournaments where the dart literally bounces out because it's a fairly fresh board, and it's just packed so tight that the dart bounces. Um, I, you know what? I'm sold on this. This is um, for a mid-range cost board, and the dollar amount's right there. I'm going to put it right there. Um, on this, this is a high quality board. Seriously, uh, I'm very impressed with the board itself um, and, and just the, the makeup and how well packed this is. Again, great job, uh, the team over at A to Z and their colonial lineup of darts and dart products, including this board, the V2 version two, wire shot, sessile, sizal dart board. I highly recommend this one. Definitely worth the money. Thanks for watching. Check these guys out over at a-zdarts.com. Check out Magic Wear because they do the jerseys like the one I'm wearing. And, uh, of course, they're part of the A to Z family as well. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this review of Atomic Darts. I'm your host, Matthew. We've been checking out the Colonial Dartboard version 2 wire shot. Sizzle. Sizzle dartboard. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys on the next one.